Okay, hello. So the first question is, which is your first memory related to dance? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. My first memory related to dance. Um, I think as a child, I used to, I remember at school we used to do this thing in classroom, in the classroom. And they were, would think of it as a resting thing, where we would put our heads on the desk and they would play some music. And I used to always want to, to move to the music. <laughs> and it felt really strange to be like this. So I would sort of imagine in my mind, and it would always be movement that I would see and conjure up when I would hear music. And it was very sort of classical things I would normally play. Um, but it was very... For me, it always instilled movement, and I, I, I just didn't enjoy sitting like this. And it was supposed to be a quiet time, and you close your eyes. And, yeah, so that I guess that was sort of wanting to move. And I used to do ballet as a little girl, tiny. And for me, it wasn't particularly enjoyable. <laughs> and then finally, when I went to um, a bigger school, we did... Um, a lot of improvisation. We had dance classes. It was seen to be something very, very important at that time in education, which doesn't happen so much now. But movement and dance was very strong, and so improvisation. That's when I used to feel sort of at home. It was when I was improvising. Yeah. So the second question is related to this uh, one. If you can choose three steps or three movements which represent dance for you, which one would you mention? Three steps. You can show them if you want. Three steps, three movements. Um. I guess it would be breath. So it would be breathing in and breathing out. So everything for me begins from breath. So it would be an expansion and a softening. And then whatever, so something that organically grows from, from breath would feel like movement. Okay, and what about a soundtrack uh, <laughs> that represents or your life or dance Real for life. you? Yes. Enjoy something that's looping, that's cyclical, that's rhythmic, that has. So maybe again, it's related to the body. So like a heart, something that has a beat, that's like a heart heartbeat, and then something that's like a wave. That's that's a sense of coming in and pouring out. So so quite often, I really enjoy um, the, the the work of somebody like Steve Reich or Philip Glass that has that sort of continuity but that sort of wave sensation and a sort of rhythmic pulse yeah great and if in this moment you could invite someone to dance with you who would you invite well i've just been very inspired by one woman in particular quite recently so she's she's very prominent in my mind and i would love to to do work with her to she's an imp a fantastic improviser and i love improvising her name's ros crisp Rosalind Crisp, and she's, she's from Australia. And she has just such a passion for movement that I'm, I'm really inspired by. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay.